Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you something amazing. Something easy and fast for this coming special day. I know that Valentine's Day is right in the corner and you may think that you don't have too much time to prepare something nice. Well, here I will give you all my secrets and tips of how you can make this hard using something crochet. Let's start. I don't know if you remember, but I taught you this technique with a video that I made and we will use a wire. In that video I'll share that you can use a wire that you can find in the tortillas bags or in the bread bags and you will use it. Approximately it measured 28 centimeters and you will have a 12 centimeters heart. I will use this yarn that it's um, between light and medium weight yarn it's number three or number four and I will use the hook of number 3.5 millimeters well for the wire and for the size of the heart that I will make I will need approximately 60 chains it is important that you make this strip of chains a little bit loose because in the next row when we came back we are going to make four I don't remember four or three double crochet in each space so we need to have space and 51 52 53 54 55 56 and 57 8 9 and 16 so here I have 60 chains if we measure approximately so you can have an idea we will have 30, 33 centimeters okay and remember that I told you that if we extend the wire it measured 28 centimeters before I made the shape of the heart okay so you can have an idea and as a reference after the 60 chains we are going to make four chains more then yarn over uh, just only once and right here where we have our finger we will insert the hook and well remember uh, right here inside we are going to make four double crochet it is important and I always make this comment because all the, the details matter okay so if you always take the stitch taking both parts of the chain well please do it in all the steps Okay, so here we have uh, four double crochet and remember that here in the first row I always suggest that you take both parts of the chain because if not the hole will open and I mean the stitch will open too much. So here always in the first row try to take both parts of the chain. So then in the next stitch we are going to make again in the same place four double crochet. So here we have two three and four well here I want to show you and I want to make more stitches I mean more segments like this remember four double crochet in each stitch so I want to show you that the strip by its own will try to twist by itself it will create a cord and this beautiful cord will help us um, to have this puffiness and it will look like so romantic and so beautiful you will see the result at the end uh, I remember that we made together um, candy cane and what else we did we did something else right for Christmas to decorate our Christmas tree um, and we use the same technique. I will share the link here in the description box below. Well, here we have, of course, I continue making four double crochet in each stitch and this is the result that I have. If you skip spaces, you may reduce, of course. So uh, I want to show you once we finish with all the stitches, the size increased. So here we have 42 centimeters you see it grows at the end leave a long thread 
so you can use it to hide it later. Well, by itself, it looks beautiful. Actually, I have some keychains like this one, and also I put some of them in my luggage, and like this is how I know that those luggage are mine. I made a different in different colors, and like that, I identificate which luggage it's mine in the airport. Uh, later, I will share a picture if you let me. Well, here, as you could see, I have the wire and it, I made the shape of a heart. So, you will make the shape that you want. Probably, you will uh, want to make uh, more smaller hearts, and you can make many of them. And you can decorate them like this using this um, cord strip that I taught you. And also you can make the shape of the initials of that special person that you want to make this gift for. Or you can make the shape of a flower also. Or what else? Like you can use the word love and you can decorate it like this. And also you can put like some glue all around just to make sure. I suggest that you first put all this strip around following the shape that you want it to be. And then, you, I mean, just to make sure that the strip that you made will be enough for the shape that you uh, did, okay? So let's try if all this... Um, core strip that you made it's enough once you are sure and it looks beautiful I think that now you can use uh, some glue right and with this we will finish okay we are going to continue all around until we cover all of the shape and like this is how we are going to uh, make an easy fast but beautiful gift for that special person, right? I will use some markers. Well, to point it out which is the half, and I can have the same number of cores in one side than in the other. So I, uh, this is something that I suggest that you can do just to have like more organization and just to make sure that you will have the same number in one side than in the other. I hope that you will make more. As I told you, you can make probably a giant heart and you can um, decorate it all around using this technique or smaller hearts. You can make many of them and make it full, um, I mean, fill a box and then put some cakes inside or candies or so. Um, so that's why I always save all the wires that I find in this tortillas a uh, package and bags and or the bags of the bread I always save in these wires because are very useful and you can use them for this or you can use a wire that literally I found in the parking lot of the apartments that I lived and I just save it because I have in mind that I wanted to make this idea for all of you so we are going to continue like this also if you want probably instead of making double crochets you can make uh, a half double crochet right and probably you will have the same effect but uh, with the stitches uh, shorter so I will continue well here at the end um, we will use the embroidery needle to join all the stitches and to make sure that this will that this won't undo and we will join the first with the last um, tip <laughs> the beginning at the end of the strip just to make sure you can use some glue too and also at the end you can make a cord or you can use a neckline or, or something, I mean, or a small chain to decorate it and maybe you can hang them and decorate a room or the door of your house or your car or something else, okay? You can hand it like this. Also, you have to uh, fix it 
make this shape with your hands and I'm sure that it will look amazing, okay? I hope that you all make this idea as you could see it's very easy to make and you will still have time to prepare something special for that, that person. Remember that here in the description box below I will share the link of how you can use this technique to make some decorations for Christmas. It's so easy and it's beautiful too if, in case you missed the video. But well thank you so much to watch this video until the end. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want more ideas like this one. Remember that it's completely free. Uh, follow me on my social media too and leave me a comment and share this video if you like. Thank you so much and happy Valentine's Day. Take care. Bye bye.